Oh no, help us, Tick Man. Tick Man? Ain't that your name, Tick Man? No, I'm Spider-Man. Then why are you wearing a tick? <sighs> okay, maybe. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Overview. Today, let's take a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Did everyone already review this several months ago? Yes, but I'm just now getting it, so here we are. I also said I was passing on this version. One, because of rising prices and I don't need that many Spider-Mans. But then Amazon had to go and discount it. Well, I got this for about... $20 somewhere in there. Never tempt a southern gentleman with a coupon. Looking at the package, it's the new windowless fair. It has some artwork, it has some digital renders, it has some words. Warning, choking hazard, small parts. How do I know there's small parts in there, huh? <laughs> On the side, some artwork from back in the day. On the back, shows the figure in a pose, the accessories it comes with. Oh, hey, small parts. Warning, small parts. Danger, petite pieces. On the other side, another digital render, straight up and down yearbook pose. On top, there's your Spider-Man 60 amazing years. On the bottom, includes figure and nine accessories. Let's get this open, see what's going on here. Let's see. Oh, tape on the bottom too, how dare you. Ruining the environment with cellophane. Got some cardboard, got some tissue paper. Get out of your seat belt, it's time to go in the store. And what we get right out of the package is a nice, clean, fairly basic, classic Spider-Man. And I don't mean basing it a bad way. I just mean with Spider-Mans, we have a lot of options where some are more dynamic than others. Some are a bit plainer. There's nothing wrong with basic and plain, especially when you're going for this version. This is from many a year ago. Back when it was just a kid in a spandex suit with some spider powers, could stick to walls, swing around. You know, the basics. The musculature was toned back a little bit here, which again works into the feel of the figure, but I really, really like it. Sometimes we get a lot of striations, we get a lot of, well, not even bulked up, but because of the depth of some of the sculpt, he, he looks really jacked. Here, he's just in really good shape. I mean, <laughs> super good shape compared to a lot of other comic book characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, more toned down. I especially like the eyes. Again, <laughs> you could probably pick different eras, different artists, different books by the shape of Spider-Man's eye holes. Here, again, it nicely represents what they were going for. The web lines are not sculpted in here, which, again, we go back and forth with on action figures of which is better and which is preferable, but I like both. They did do a really good job here. Everything on mine looks fairly clean. It does kind of miss right there. And down around the boots, the front looks good, which is what I care about the most, but as you work your way around, it does kind of jut off like they didn't meet up perfectly or at all right there. But I mean, look at that. <laughs> Zoom out at regular distance. It's not a biggie. What I'm happy about is the web lines on the mask are centered. I've seen a couple of other pictures where this piece in the middle, the roundness is off the eye a little or the webs don't meet up quite right, like down here on the leg, like right there. I've seen where there's a little gap here and there. Honestly, I don't think I could have asked for a better one. It does get a little smudgy, a little murky around the butterfly joints. I also like the shade of red used here. One, it's a bit brighter. It's a reminder of happier days, simpler times. But it's also a nice contrast against what we usually think of as either a dark blue, light blue, whatever. In the first appearances, it was more of a blackish gray. And yes, this very simple, kind of cartoony chess logo is accurate. This, I'm not sure about. There was some instances where it was blue, some instances where it was like this. What's important to me is that it evokes that time and this definitely does that. Oh and the other biggie here, pinless limbs. And if you know me, you've heard me rant about the fact that I do not care about pinless limbs. Pins, no pins, whatever. But when it comes to Spider-Man, it's very important. In fact, this is one of the biggest reasons for pinless limbs. If it did have pins, you would see round red dots here and here, and it kind of destroys the illusion that this is not an action figure posing around in your hand. On the legs, not so much, but at the same time, it does make for a cleaner look. I'm, I'm not complaining about pinless. I'm just saying that it's not a make or break for me, unless it's a Spider-Man. But speaking of articulation, getting into that, they went back to the old tri 
tried and true ball on top of the neck with a hinge underneath. I like me a good dumbbell joint, but as we've seen on the retro figures, not enough range for your standard Spider-Man. With a hinge and a shift, you can go all the way up and come back around, shift forward, all the way down. Not a lot of room for tilt, but there is some side to side. Butterfly joint at the shoulder goes forward, goes back, and you'll notice it doesn't go all the way back. I recently did the fix that's been going around on Vulcan and come to find out there's a super long peg that goes into the torso. I'm guessing it's the same here. There's a pin coming out to the shoulder, allows for all the way around while a hinge goes up to there. Swivel at the bicep, double elbow goes Oh, all the way up. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge going in and out. Dumbbell mid torso gets nice hula hoop along with some rotation. Then you have a hinge at the waist that cranks down to about right there. Lots of arc back. Been seeing a lot of drop down hips with Spider-Mans lately, but this doesn't have that. This just has a ball coming out to the hip, allows for up, back, out, uh, still not all the way out, but better than a lot of other Spider-Mans. Swivel at the thigh, double knee goes up. Oh, spider sense, tingling. Swivel at the top of the boot, hinge at the ankle goes back, way forward, nice. Front facing pin for rocker. For accessories, Spider-Man comes with two fists, two thwips, two splayed out wall crawls, and two gripping hands. The grip hand is to hold on to the included web line and We've been seeing this for some years, haven't we? Got kind of a curly on one end and a triangle grip on the other. That goes just like that. I mean, <laughs> a grip hand grips things and you add a grip to a grip thing and there's all kinds of gripping going on. Oh, pretty stable too. Not bad at all. Then there's these, the web wings. What you do here is plug it into the underarm. Which way am I going with this? Yeah, I had the wrong one. There we go. Not bad. It achieves the effect somewhat. These are only really useful if you plan on leaving it in this pose. You try to move it around at all and it just looked, yeah, the black bolt effect. How's that? You try to move it around, it just kind of falls out. For a more relaxed look, there's also an alternate pair that's kind of folded in on themselves. Oh, and I do like that a little better, right? but at the same time, you are very limited. You go to move the arm and you have these things just kind of sticking out, or if you get crazy with it, oh, of course you're not going to pop out now. It's secure. I think I will be just fine without these. The Spider-Man stands oh, ever so slightly under, almost right around six inches tall, which does clock shorter than other recent Spider-Mans like the Renew Your Vows and the Retro Carded. Oh, and there's an example of the web lines being off on the mask a little bit here. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly happy with that. Size-wise, I can live with this because way back in the day, you know, teenager in high school, I can look at this as more of a grown up Peter. Also, as I was talking about a minute ago, the musculature, the striations, the sculpt, you can see these two are just super jacked. They're just, this one, more subdued, more classic. Couple of more Marvel Legends Spider-Mans. I think this was the pizza Spidey, but repainted in the raft. And then I'm using Miles here, but there was also a ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker on this same body. So that gives you a size comparison between those. A couple of my favorite imports, there's the Metacom Moffex comic book Spider-Man, the first version, and then the Sentinel into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man. Okay, maybe the five pack human flying razor bag doesn't go back on the timeline as far as the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, but I like the look of this. There's some classicness going on. So at the end of the day, I've got a conundrum. I, I'm kind of feeling that this is my main display Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong, it is posable. Oh man, is it posable? And even without the toes, you can get down to a fairly nice three-point stance. Even flat-footed, that works. Four is a bit more of a struggle. It works, but it doesn't feel as natural. That's where the toes would have went a long way. Along with the butterfly tweak that I was talking about earlier. Again, this is a super long peg going into a trench in the middle, so it doesn't go all the way back. I'd like to see full range there. What we've got here is not terrible. In fact, this may be me sounding like I'm making excuses for this, but this being this version of Spider-Man way back in the day, he wasn't in crazy 90s poses. He would just swing along, do wall crawling poses, and save people. <laughs> that was the whole point. So at a base level, I feel like this has ample articulation. This gets enough poses, but there's always room for more, right? I mean, we always want more. And that's what it comes down to. Yes, 
this again may be my shelf spider-man at the moment but there's always going to be more there's going to be another version and if this isn't yours just wait another couple of months maybe a year so if this isn't your cup of tea pass on by if it is then hmm. again there could be improvements but at the moment that's kind of hard to beat if you enjoyed this overview comment like subscribe much much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel patreon.com but wherever you may be watching this i'll always catch you on the foosh i've got to think that at some point there's going to be a breakthrough when it comes to web wings or under the arm situations <laughs> like black bolt like banshee like siren like spider-man spider-woman whoever